Bison are an amazing animal. They can run as fast as a horse, but they can change directions faster. They're a great animal to, uh, to raise. They're good for the land. Uh, they're good to eat. We don't have buffalo in North America. What we have are bison, uh, which is a thing that a lot of people don't realize. And there's been several different species throughout history. Uh, the current one we have is bison, bison, bison. And uh, at one time, their numbers were estimated in North America at more than 60 million animals. Um, in less than 400 years, they were down to less than 600. Buffalo are actually old world animals. When the Europeans came to North America and they saw the bison, the only animals they could really equate it with were the Cape Buffalo of Africa and the Water Buffalo of Asia. So that's how the term buffalo got applied to the bison. Well, the bison temperament um, can be a little nasty, particularly when the bulls are in the rut in August and September. Um, and of course, when the, when the mothers have their babies, which we saw our first calf this week. So it's, it's a time then where you gotta kinda give them some breaks. They, they do give you some keys to look out for. If the tail starts to go up, they're starting to get a little agitated. Um, pawing the ground is another thing. Um, if the tail goes up and they defecate, that's another sign that they're really starting to get agitated. And one thing that we like to tell people is if you come across the bison, you want to stay at least 100 yards away from them. Because this is an animal that can run as fast as a horse, but also has horns and sharp hooves in addition to it. Their fur, uh, it, can, it has a very woolly, dense fur on the underneath. It's very soft. Of course, up here, this is pretty wiry. You know, it's, it's, not, it's pretty coarse. But the Native Americans and the pioneers, they would weave with it. Um, it was soft enough they could weave with it. And also the time of year. Um, when they've got their full winter coat on is when it's the softest and, and uh, best insulation. Um, one thing about the bison fur, it's so good at keeping their body heat in that when it snows, the snow just lays on their back because their body heat's not escaping to melt it off. So it's a really good insulator. Now as we go into spring and summer, they start shedding that woolly coat and you'll see where the, about the back third of them is really slick and almost looks like it doesn't have any fur on it at all. Well, one of the things about the bison is they have this pretty distinctive looking hump, if you can see this one back there. This is what their vertebrae looks like back towards their rear end. And this is one of the vertebrae where that hump is. So you can see the huge difference in the size of them, and then these are gradually shorter till they get down on either side of it. But this gives them a lot of muscle mass on the forward third of their body, which moves their center of gravity forward so they can change directions a lot faster. Bison, the uh, latifrons and antiquus uh, were in prehistoric times. They found skeletal remains and they're much larger. They were much larger then than they are now. There was a smaller buffalo that was a mountain bison 
and it's extinct. The bison you see here are the plains bison. They're uh, bison bison is the uh, genus and species. The um, woods bison still exist. They're a little larger than they're further north in North America, Canada, Alaska. Uh, you'll find a few of them in the United States. But this is the, the bison that's been around here for tens of thousands of years. And they've adapted to this plains area and the grass, the five grasses that were predominant throughout the plain states. Lifespan of a bison is uh, 25 to 35 years. Uh, depends on how good a life they've had and, and the genetics of the individual bison, but uh, usually they'll reproduce the females well for uh, uh, 25 to, to 30 years. They'll live beyond their reproduction for a few more years. Uh, the males usually don't get to live that long. They're the they're the, the prime meat animal. Uh, they're raised mostly for meat and they're raised till about 30 months of age and then they're slaughtered. Uh, the herd bulls will stay around for uh, maybe six to 12 years. Once they get to be uh, older, they're not as productive and a younger bull may do a better job. Uh, they would live on, but they're usually living in a more of a solitary uh, type situation. They really don't mingle with the herd much. They stay off out to the edge of the herd, but they'll, they'll be fairly close to where they can s have sight of their herd. But if they get too close, then the dominant male, which is younger, will come out and challenge, and they, they usually just don't want to put up a fight. The younger ones have so, so much more stamina. Bison, they will succumb to just about any illness that a, a beef will. Today, they do pretty well. There's just two or three they don't have any tolerance for. The worst is probably uh, known as malignant catarrhal fever uh, virus. It's a herpes-like virus. We're working on a vaccine. We've been working on it for over 10 years now. And it's uh, shed uh, from young lambs, uh, sheep carry that. Almost all sheep have it and it's uh, shed through the uh, respiratory system of young lambs between the ages of three months and eight months. And if they are upwind of buffalo, within a mile or two, the buffalo will get it. It'll kill the entire herd within a year. Uh, there's some other uh, respiratory problems that they have from eating fescue. Sometimes there's, a, there's an endophyte that invades the fescue that uh, suppresses the, the circulatory system in bison. And so you need to give them other types of feed. The size of the bison horn varies between the male and the female. When they're young, they have little horn buds and they're, uh, oh, maybe an inch long when they're born. And then as they uh, start getting some age on them, they, you start noticing a difference. The, the male uh, bison horn is larger in diameter, especially at the base of the horn where it, it meets the uh, skull. And uh, it sticks out almost straight for the first uh, eight to 12 months of its age. The female horn, is smaller in diameter. It's probably uh, sometimes half the diameter of the male horn when they're, especially when they're uh, first two or three years of age. It has more of a curve to it. It looks more feminine and, and uh, petite. As the bison ages, the female horn curves in uh, to where the, the horn tips are are pointing towards each other and the male horn continues to grow out and then grows straight up until it's about two years old and then they start curving in just a little bit at the uh, tip.
The processing of bison is uh, usually done with uh, a 24 to 30 month old male buffalo. What you're looking for is an animal that is around 1,100 pounds. You'll uh, gather the bison in, usually bait them with uh, some cubes to get them into a corral, a confined area, and then you'll load them into a vehicle and haul them off to a facility to be processed. I'll unload the uh, uh, bison at that facility and uh, they'll usually have some rest time at the facility and then they're run into the processing plant. They're shot behind the ear and then their um, jugular is cut and they're hung up by the hind uh, feet and bled out and then they cut the head off and the feet off. They gut the animal and then they lie, they uh, uh, take the, the carcass and lay it down and it's on a, a framework where they can skin it and then they hang it back up and then they saw it in half. They weigh it and then they put it into a cooler where it's cooled for about uh, two weeks and aged and then uh, I'll send a cutting order in to tell the processor how I want the um, bison cut up. So they'll package it and I have all mine flash frozen after uh, they package it and uh, then I go pick it up and I distribute it to um, my uh, retailers. There are about 15,000 bison left that are considered in the wild. Um, there's about a half a million bison left, period. That's about what the population is now. The flavor? Well, it's, it's a red meat. It's, um, if you like to eat red meat, you probably will like to eat bison meat. Um, it's nutritious. It has uh, more potassium in three ounces of bison than there is in a banana. Uh, a lot of protein, a lot of iron. Nutrition-wise, it's probably probably one of the most nutritional uh, values you get in meat. They're a wonderful animal to watch. They're an icon of North America. You see it on the state seal of the state of Kansas. They're very much um, an, indi an indigenous species that's really particular to our continent. And uh, they're a great animal to, uh, to raise. They're good for the land. I've, I've really enjoyed raising them and uh, uh, they're good to eat. Bison are an amazing animal. A lot of people think they're just these big lumbering beasts, and you know, but actually they can be very quick, and they're a lot of fun to watch, and I really enjoy seeing them.